Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Now, today's video, rebuilding the Los Angeles Clippers with Anthony Davis. Now, Shams came out earlier today and put out Anthony Davis' list of teams that he would be willing to re-sign with. And, that, and those list of teams were the Lakers, the Clippers, the Knicks, and the Bucks. Now, really, when you take a look at all those teams, the team that can offer the Pelicans the best package is the Lakers. So... Really, it's between the Lakers and the Knicks, really. I mean, that's just my opinion. But, you know what? It's fun to live in fantasy land, and let's just, you know, do this right here. Now, I went on Bleacher Report and used their trade suggestion for Anthony Davis. No way in hell do I think that the Pelicans would actually take this, all right? But I didn't, I didn't really know what to really do. <laughs> I didn't know what kind of trade would be good. Uh, so, Tobias Harris... Shai Gilgis Alexander, Jerome Robinson, Milos, a 2020 second round pick, and a, our 2021 unprotected first round pick for Anthony Davis, Tim Frazier, Ian Clark, and Frank Jackson. Now, obviously, they're going to decline it, and Anthony Davis is someone that they consider untouchable, but this is 2K, and I can just override the trade. So I'm going to go ahead, do that. Someone said in the last video, like, why did I cheat and, like, make it so Kristaps, like, automatically was on the uh mavericks but i was like that's literally the point of the video to have him on the mavericks so here we go this is what the team looks like now um not really anything too good patrick beverly lou will finally gets the starting spot gallo montrez harrell and anthony davis now i think i would much rather have anthony davis at the four that's just my opinion actually you know what screw it we'll, we'll just we'll just leave him at the five we have four centers on our team though so i think what i'm gonna go ahead and do is move Montrez Harrell to power forward uh and then we are going to probably move Marcin Gortat because I mean there's no point in having Gortat, Boban, and Anthony Davis and you guys know damn well I'm not trading Boban so Marcin Gortat most likely getting traded Avery Bradley might get traded I don't know Luke Mbamba, Mute, Mike Scott I mean really this team isn't going to be anything special this year but next year and in free agency is when I'm really going to be making a push to have this team be really good and be a championship contending team. So let's see what kind of offers we get here for Marcin Gortat. I mean, Rashawn Holmes, yes, he's a center, but also that's cap relief. So uh, I think I might do that. Trevion Graham, that's a huge cap relief there. If I could get a pick, that'd be great. Uh, Mo Wagner is not really someone I want to get. I think I'm going to have to go with the Nets offer for Trevion Graham. Huge cap relief there. Uh, so he, I, I'm pretty sure he was still on a one-year deal anyway, but it's okay. It is what it is. Patrick Beverly will resign. So will Boban. I'm going to go ahead and sign Boban to a three-year deal because it's Boban. I mean, come on, guys. Uh, if we go to the salary cap table, though, next year we will be having a $38 million in cap. I, uh, we have the team option on Avery Bradley. I'm most likely going to decline that. And then... Really, for everyone else, it's just pretty standard. So, this is a rotation. Going into the rest of the season, pretty much the same exact starting five that I literally just said. And then, Boban is their sixth man. A.B. Bradley, Luke Mbaba, Mute, Mike Scott. And that's it. These guys aren't getting any minutes. Sorry, not sorry. Let's go ahead simulate now to the end of the year. I'm not expecting us to make the playoffs whatsoever. But if it happens, I, de I definitely will not complain. All right, so James Harden ends the year winning the MVP award, something that I do expect to happen in real life. Luka Doncic, Rookie of the Year. I mean, really, that's not a surprise whatsoever. Dennis Schroeder, Sixth Man of the Year. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, pretty much 27 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists, 1.6 steals, 2.5 blocks, pretty much. Shot 53% from the field, about 32% from 3. Buddy Hill, Most Proof Player, and Steve Kerr, Coach of the the year 63 and 19 i mean obviously i mean come on guys come on it's the warriors we all know this uh there is anthony davis though on the all nba second team and that's pretty much it for people here i mean obviously anthony davis wins defensive player of the year so he'll be on the all defensive first team and that is it for players that were on any of these teams shy gil just alexander would have made the all rookie second team for us but you know obviously we just traded him so uh we did not make the playoffs which I'm fine with, all right? 41 of 41. We were tied with the Lakers, but we lost the tiebreaker with them. Honestly, I'm not mad at it. Uh, I'm really excited, though, for next season to upgrade at point guard, maybe try to trade in the draft, possibly, or just get a free agent, obviously. Uh, shooting guard, I would like to keep Lou Will. Definitely would like that. Uh, Avery Bradley, I don't think I'm going to accept his, player, his team option just because... Like, that's $12 million that I would like to have. Uh, Gallo, I definitely want to get rid of. 
And that's pretty much it. I mean, Luka Mbamute is going to be a free agent. And obviously, Anthony Davis and Boban are the future at the center position for our team. Player stats on the season, if you guys really care uh, a whole lot about it. Uh, obviously, you already saw Anthony Davis's stats. There's Lou Will, Gallo, Montrez, Boban. I mean, pretty uh, standard stuff there. So let's go ahead and simulate now these entire playoffs. Let's see if the Lakers can beat the Warriors in the first round like they did in my Dirk, not Dirk, uh, Chris Stapp's Mavs rebuilding video. And why is the sim so freaking slow, man? This is like, come on, 2K. We're, we, are, we are in 2019 and we can't get a faster sim than this? Okay. All right, well, the Warriors are going to beat the Rockets in five games. And now... Let's see who makes it to the NBA. The Nets. The Nets beat the Bucks. Wow. Uh, the Raptors sweep the Celtics. And it is Raptors versus Warriors as the Warriors end up sweeping the Toronto Raptors. I would be lying if I said I was shocked. Durant, 39 and a half points. Shot 65% from the field and damn near 59% from three. That's just, that's just absurd. All right, let's get on now to the offseason where... Let's uh, let let's see if we can pair Anthony Davis with another superstar. All right, so I have no idea what the Hawks are thinking here. I have no idea, but I'm not gonna complain that they want to give me the six pick and Alex Len for Danilo Gallinari. So we're gonna go ahead and accept that. Uh, no matter what 2K it is, you can never doubt the trade logic being absolutely broken. Now, um, I wow, we only have like five players on the roster. So this was well, this is right before the draft. So. Maybe the 6th and the 14th pick. Let's see what I can get for these two. Not expecting anything crazy. Uh, Chris Dunn and uh, the Bulls first round pick next year. Gordon Hayward, Mike Conley. Uh, Marcus Smart along with that. With Gordon Hayward. Cancer, Bamba. Michael Porter Jr. could be interesting. Miles could also be interesting. But we already have Montrez and Anthony Davis. So I don't really see a point in doing that. Uh, really, everybody here just makes way too much money for my liking. The only one I'm, like, somewhat interested in is is this Markel Fultz one. And they really want that pick, but I don't want to give them that pick. So I'll give you two seconds, and they really want this six pick, and I really don't want to give them the six pick. So I will give them Alex Len, and they don't want to do it as well. Um, two second round picks again. Bro, what... Okay, well, looks like I can't get Markel Fultz. I, I was I was thinking maybe they would just want to give me Markel Fultz. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Lou Will, Montrez. All right, so uh, looks like we're going into the draft with the sixth pick, unless I can just trade the sixth pick straight up for something and not the 14th pick uh, along with it. Why would I even do that? Why would I even do that? And why would I even do that? Man, 2K's trade logic, bro, is so messed up. Uh, Pistons for Drummond doesn't make any sense, really. Michael Porter... M Michael Porter Jr. is the only trade here that's genuinely interesting me. The only reason why it is is because, I mean, A- minus potential, dude hasn't played. And I don't know. I'm kind of interested in that. So I might just have to go with that, I think. I think I'm going to go with Michael Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. and Tori... Tory Craig, let's do it. All right, welcome MPJ to the team. I know that we have the 14th pick, but I don't really care too much about it. We get Saku Duambia. I, I I don't really know how to say his name, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. All right, let's get on now to free agency. Let's go out and sign some big name players. But before we get on with free agency, though, Alex Land and our 2022 second round pick for the Spurs top three protected 2021 first round pick. I mean, that's an easy trade there. Uh, if we take a look at our salary cap table, we have $42 million to spend. And I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, let's see, though, what we can do in free agency. And I don't see Kawhi Leonard. I really thought Kawhi was going to be here. Did Kawhi really re-sign with the Raptors? Are you kidding me, bro? Man, that was going to be the whole point. I was going to get AD and Kawhi. All right, you know what? It's okay. It's okay because we're going to get AD and Kevin Durant. Like, that's just that's just how it's going to go. We're not the number one team. Don't go back to the Warriors. Don't do that. We could pair up Boogie and uh, Anthony Davis again. Uh, Jimmy Butler, Kemba. We have a lot of options here. All right, Jimmy Butler, welcome to the Los Angeles Clippers. Kyrie, I tried to get him. He goes back to the Celtics. Durant goes back to the Warriors. Of course he does. Um, Clay Thompson, I don't think I have enough money to get him. 
he's uh i mean the lakers are in first place for him d'angelo russell is a restricted free agent i might just throw an offer at him just to say kind of yellow and just you know just kind of see what happens even though i know that and it would take me over the salary cap limit never mind i can't even do that anyway and the Nets decided to match the offer sheet anyway. So I'm just going to send to the end of the moratorium as Jimmy Butler does end up signing with us. We have $22 million in cap. We do not have enough room for Klay Thompson, which sucks. But, uh, I mean, it is what it is. The Lakers aren't in the running now for him? What? Oh, okay. The, the Lakers got DeMarcus Cousins instead. Okay. Uh, Kristaps back to the Mavs. Vujovic to the Hawks. Uh, Kemba back to the Hornets. Uh, really nothing too crazy here. DeAndre to the Kings. Spencer Dinwiddie to the Nets, Derrick Rose to the Pacers. Uh, everyone that's here, though, can I just... Let me go to the affordable all positions. I can still get Tobias Harris. That would be hilarious if I trade him to the Pelicans and, I, and then I just bring him back. But honestly, guys, I have no idea who to go after. All right, so we are going to try and sign Malcolm Brogdon here. And then if I do end up signing him and the Bucks don't match it, I will move him to point guard. And we do sign him thank goodness bro all right malcolm brogdon go to point guard where you belong you go down to a to an 81 but it's okay because i mean we just really needed a point guard so now we got brogdon we got jimmy butler we got michael porter jr montrez harrell and anthony davis i do need a backup four and a backup point guard let's go out and sign those two positions real quick all right, listen, y'all, I love Lou Will, but when you have the opportunity to get younger at the shooting guard position with Karis LeVert and you get Spencer Didwitty, a true point guard, even though I'm pretty sure Malcolm Brogdon came in the league as a point guard. You know what? It doesn't matter. I feel like I kind of have to do this trade now. I would much rather not give up a first round pick. They were, okay, 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 okay. You guys are just pushing it. I'll give you a 2023 first round pick. I want to give me Thad Young. I don't want to give up Thad Young. So I'm just going to go ahead, take the offer that was originally offered to me. Spencer Dinwiddie, Karis Silver, our 2023 unprotected first round pick. Trade made. All is well. Some Clippers fans might get mad at me. It's okay, though, because I'm going to bring you guys closer to a championship than you'll be in the next 10 years. So you know what? It's okay. It's fine. So now we got Spencer Dinwiddie and Malcolm Brogdon. And I think now... Uh, actually, I don't I don't really need to move Malcolm Brogdon to the shooting guard position because we have Karis LeVert and Jimmy Butler. So I think that's really it in terms of trades. Um, we still have, what, 11 guys on the team. So uh, in terms of affordable players, I mean, we're just going to be getting old guys here. So actually, I don't really want Patrick Beverly on the team just because I feel like, you know, he's going to want too much money. I mean, four mil a year, that's not a lot, but I mean... To me, I'm just, I'm cheap. All right, Avery Bradley, three mil a year. Sure, I'll bring you back. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and fill out the team because I don't want to bore you guys with me just signing random roster fillers. So I'll see you guys at the start of next season. All right, so this is what our rotation is looking like here going into the first full season of the video. Malcolm Brogdon, Jimmy Butler, Michael Porter Jr., Montrezl Harrell, and Anthony Davis, obviously the star of this team is Boban Marjanovic coming off of the bench. You know, if we put him in the starting lineup, it'll be too unfair for the other teams. And Adam Silver is going to ask me to put him on the bench, okay? So, six men, Spencer Dinwiddie, Karis LeVert, Thad Young, Boban, and that's pretty much it. Running a nine-man rotation. I just went ahead and just signed some shooters. I mean, that's really all you really need. Uh, brought Avery Bradley back, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, let's go on now to the start of the season. I'm just checking the... Grit and grind, really, really, that's what we're doing. I don't really want to be grit and grind. I'd, I'd, I'd much rather be not grit and grind. I'd much rather, you know what, fine, whatever. We'll be we'll be grit and grind. It is what it is. First game of the year against the Utah Jazz, and we ended up winning by three points. Montrose Harrell, 18 and five. Anthony Davis, 13 and 18. Jimmy Butler, 10 and 11. Michael Porter Jr., his first NBA game, 11 points, three rebounds, two assists, three steals, four or 13 from the field. But you know what? It's okay. Can he even shoot? Okay, I think he, yeah, some, somewhat, all right? So let's go on now. I'm going to send him to the trade deadline. You guys already know the rules. Actually, I don't even know where the trade deadline's at. So I'm just going to send him to the all-star break. If I make trades, you guys will see it. If not, then we're going to the end of the year. So we are here now at the end of the season. Giannis wins the MVP award. 34 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists, basically 2 steals and 2 blocks on 54% shooting. That's just stupid. RJ Barrett, rookie of the year on the Chicago Bulls. Gordon Hayward, sixth man of the year. Pretty sure he's backing up uh, Jason Tatum. Giannis wins the defensive player of the year. Now, all right. 
Let's just see who had the better defensive stats. Him or AD? I think AD might, maybe. I mean, two blocks a game. I mean, that's got to be up there. Yeah, like that's got to be up there. 2.2 and 1.2, but I'll just leave it at Giannis. It is what it is. Marvin Bagley, third most proof player. Doc Rivers, coach of the year. We went uh, 57 and 25, bro. You love it. Anthony Davis made the all NBA first team. Uh, all NBA second team, no one there. All NBA third team, no one there. Uh, all defensive first team, there is Anthony Davis. Draymond is hurt two to four weeks, and Jimmy Butler is also here. That's good to see. No one on the all defensive second team, and then uh, all first team. Obviously, we're not going to have anyone on either one of these teams. But number one seed in the playoffs going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, first, before we get started with the playoffs, let's go ahead check out the player stats. Jimmy Butler averaged 17 points. This year, four rebounds, four assists, two steals, shot damn near 49% from the field. Montrezl Harrell shot 56% from the field. Then again, like all of his shots are coming from right by the basket. It's okay though. Michael Porter Jr., his first full NBA season, 13 and a half points, five rebounds, one assist, one steal. Not a, not any blocks, but you know what? It's okay. I didn't realize he was 6'10". I thought he was like 6'8". Damn. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie off of the bench. Actually, no, he started for us, right? Yeah, yeah, he started for us. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon. It, you know what? I don't I don't really know who started for us. All I know is we finished with the best record in the league. Wait, pretty sure we finished with the best record in the league. Let me just make sure we finished with the best. We finished with the best record in the league. All right. So now taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder here in the first round of the playoffs. Their team has not changed a whole lot, except for the fact that they have Jared Allen and DeAndre Jordan and Willie Cauley-Stein. Why do they have so many centers? I guarantee you they traded Steven Adams to the Nets. Guarantee you they traded Steven Adams to the Nets. Lou Williams is on the Nets now. Did he get traded or did he just sign? All right, I guess. I guess he just signed there. But we should win this series easily, even though they have three centers and... But, I mean, like, we have Boban. So, like, we really should win. And it, it's going to be a battle for L.A. in the second round as we beat the Oklahoma City Thunder in six games. Game one. Game... Uh, how do you only score seven points in the first quarter? That is atrocious. All right. Uh, I don't... I'm not, I'm not really going to show too much of the box scores. Of course, as soon as I say that, I'm literally showing you every single box score. All right. Battle for L.A. now. Lakers versus Clippers. Lakers, obviously, LeBron, Cousins, Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart, JaVale, Derek Collison, Markeith Morris, Nick Stauskas. Oh, boy, this, this is definitely going to be a tough matchup for us. Uh, one that I don't expect us to win, honestly. I don't, I don't expect us to win this. And, of course, as soon as I say that, you know, we go up 3-0, winning 132-108, to which is just absurd. Um, so yeah, it looks like we are uh, going on to the Western Conference Finals. Uh, yes, the Clippers are in the Western Conference Finals for the first time in team history. Man, that's crazy. That is crazy. So going up against the, uh, wow, the Nuggets beat the Warriors. I mean, I get it. They don't have Boogie, but I mean like that. Oh, wait, that's right. Draymond's hurt. Okay, all right. Uh, so taking on the Nuggets now in the western conference finals okay Jokic, jamal murray gary harris paul Millsap, will barton monte morris uh malik beasley cam reddish bobby portis okay Mar marcin gortat okay um let's see though if we can continue our long winning streak and maybe go into the nba finals with a what one five nine game win streak i think think it i think it'd be a nine game win streak all right Please tell me it's the Raptors. Please tell me it's the Raptors. All right, it's the Raptors. Clippers versus Raptors. Two teams that if you if you told someone like 20 years ago, be like, hey, the Clippers and Raptors are gonna be in the in the in the NBA Finals, they'd be like, what? You're crazy. But you know what? Things happen. Kawhi obviously with the Raptors. Anthony Davis and Jimmy Butler with the Clippers. Uh, let's see who else is on the Raptors. I don't expect their team to be too much different. Pascal Siakam. Uh, Kyle Lowry, Valanchunas, Sergi Bach has a broken left hand one to two weeks. Uh, Juwan Evans, Noah Vonley. That's pretty much it. Um, their team is pretty much unchanged. They lost in the finals last season to the Warriors, and they got swept. Uh, we can't sweep them this time. Are they going to go up 3-1 on us? No, they don't. 2-2. Two, two. This is a... This is such an important game, y'all. This is give more minutes to Anthony Davis. Okay, okay. I will I will give more minutes to Anthony Davis. Okay. I will go right ahead and do that. Wait, injuries. Oh wait, no, that's just that's just surge. Okay. 
All right, this game is huge. The winner of game five goes on to win the series, however percent of the time. We're staying in there, but I think we're going to end up losing. End up losing by 14. That's yikes. Kawhi with 33 and 10 and five steals. That's just insane. All right, game six now in the six. <laughs> See what I did there? All right. Anyway, I'm super lame. Uh, let's go on win this game, and it's looking... Oh, okay. I think we're... Got... Yeah, okay, cool. Cool. Game seven. Game seven of the NBA Finals. Montrez Harrell, 28 and 11. Uh, Anthony Davis, 23 and 14. Jimmy Butler, 18, 10, 5 and 5. Like, you love it. Boban, 9 and 9 with three blocks. All right, game seven, y'all. Game number seven. Can we win it on our home floor? Hopefully we can. It's going back and forth. We take the lead. It's going back and forth. Don't tell me I, I don't tell me I have to hop in the damn game. Don't tell me I gotta hop in the game because you guys know I don't want to hop in the game. Really don't want to hop in the game. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. How is it a one point game? We better, if we don't have the ball, I'm gonna be mad. So, good news is we have the ball. Let's give it to Jimmy Butler as he does get fouled. He's wearing number six. That looks weird. I probably should have changed his number. Oh well, it is what it is. Jimmy Butler. With a chance to make this a three-point game. 86 free throw rating. Somebody please let Jimmy Butler know he's not supposed to be missing these free throws. Thank goodness. Oh my god, I was terrified. I definitely thought that was not going to happen. Okay, we just need one stop. We need one stop and we are world champions. Okay, the Clippers are world champions if we get one stop. Words that you never thought you would ever hear. All right, defense lineup. Okay, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Michael Porter Jr. only has 81 defense. Okay, I thought it'd be a little bit more than that. Let's let let's get Thad Young in there. Uh, TJ McConnell. Actually, low key. Yeah. Wait. Why is Malcolm Brogdon not there? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh. Oh no. No Spencer. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Hopefully. Ho hopefully that doesn't matter. Hopefully that doesn't matter, guys. Oh no. Don't give it to. Don't. No Kawhi. Kawhi. I swear to God, a Kawhi makes it. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no Kawhi, no, no Kawhi, no, thank goodness, get it, go, shoot it, shoot it, we're world champions, let's go. Now, most YouTubers would end the video after just winning one championship, but I'm not like every other YouTuber. We're going for the three-peat, all right? We're going for the MJ three-peat. Clippers win a championship. Anthony Davis, finals MVP. You see the numbers on the screen. Beastly numbers for Anthony Davis, and he's going to be a free agent. Oh, wait, no, he's not because we re-signed him to a deal. So everything is well here in LA. You sweep the Lakers, and you win the NBA championship. Like, what more can you ask for? Zach Randolph retires, Pendrick Kirkins, uh, yeah, pretty much that's it for that. League meetings, though, let's see what we got here. Nothing there. All right, draft, I don't think we have anything in the draft lottery, though. If we do, then that's a big surprise to me. All right, cool, we don't. So, uh, I'll see you guys now in free agency. Hopefully, we can just, you know, keep on adding to the team to, you know, win back-to-back -back NBA championships. So our rotation is pretty much staying the exact same as last season. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Malcolm Brogdon, Jimmy Butler, Michael Porter Jr., Montrez Hale, Anthony Davis, off of the bench, Spencer Dinwiddie, once again, uh, our sixth man, Karis LeVert, Thad Young, TJ McConnell, also Avery Bradley, Boban, Jordan Mickey, J.R. Smith, Nick Young, and Marcin Gortat, man. Gotta, gotta get, you know, some memes here on the team. Uh, so we are now gonna go ahead and simulate two the end of the season and uh, hopefully we can win a another championship anthony davis ends up winning the mvp award here at the end of the season 25 points 15 rebounds almost four steals i mean four assists uh 1.6 steals and basically three blocks a game that is just insane when you take a look like just the improvement from a year ago is just absolutely insane Anthony Edwards, Rookie of the Year on the Knicks. Dennis Schroeder, Sixth Man of the Year on the Kings. Defensive Player of the Year also goes to Anthony Davis. Cameron Reddish wins the Most Approved Player. And Billy Donovan, Coach of the Rockets, wins Coach of the Year. They win second. They tied with us. We held the tiebreaker over them. Sucks to suck. Anthony Davis, All-NBA First Team, All-NBA Second Team. No one there. And there is no Jimmy Butler. But Anthony Davis does make the All-Defensive First Team. And no Jimmy Butler on the All-Defensive Second Team. Kind of weird. Okay. Anyway, once again, number one seed for the second straight season. Let's go ahead and view the player stats on season. Obviously, you already saw Anthony Davis' stats. 
Jimmy Butler, I mean, I can see how he didn't make it, but I mean, the all the all defensive second team or first team that is, but I mean, eh, I mean, I I would I would definitely put him there, but that's that's not my business. There are the stats on the season. Let's go ahead check out the Timberwolves roster and let's see if they've made any drastic changes. Uh, but let's uh, I I don't I mean Derek Favors uh. Nothing too crazy. We should definitely sweep them. All right, let's get these playoffs underway and hopefully win back-to-back -back NBA championships. And we are, we are going to start that off by sweeping the Timberwolves, right? Yep, we are going to start off by sweeping the Minnesota Timberwolves. Once again, taking on the Lakers in the second round. Let's see if this Lakers team has changed at all from last season. So far, no. John Henson, uh, Jalen Horde. Uh, yeah, nothing too crazy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, really, there's no reason why we should lose. 130 to 100. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's no reason why we should lose to the Lakers. And we are going to sweep them. 8-0. 8, -0. 8 -0. Oh, they had to win, bro. They had to win. Okay, all right, taking on the Rockets now. This is huge, all right? This is a huge series. Because, I mean, they have the same record as us. And they have... One of the MVP runner-ups, probably, and James Harden. In this season, MVP runner-up. In real life, he probably should win it. Still have Capella, still got CP3, still got James Harden. They got Terrence Ross, Malcolm Delaney, Mason Plumlee, Aaron Baines. Ah, uh, I mean, I like, I like our chance here, okay? I like our chance in this series, but uh, hopefully 2K likes our chances in this series. And the sim logic actually makes sense in this series and so far so good because we just beat the rockets in five games right right yeah exactly we just beat the rockets in five games taking on the philadelphia 76ers can we win back to back nba championships let's see they got miritich uh yikes uh this team isn't really all that good how did how did this team make it to the how did the raptors not make it they got swept by the Knicks? Who's on the Knicks? What? That does not make any bit of sense. The Celtics lost to the Nets. That doesn't make any sense. All right, well, we should just sweep them. I'm so confident. I'm literally going to just sim just simulate the current round because I'm so confident that we're going to sweep them. And would you look at that? We sweep them once again. Well, not really once again because, like, we haven't swept anyone in the finals and Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anthony Davis, back-to-back -back Finals MVP awards. You already know we're going for that 3 P. So that Spurs pick ended up being uh, the 10th pick in the draft. So I'm going to go ahead and trade the 10th pick for Will Barton. I mean, pretty pretty straight-up trade. Even though Will Barton is uh, 30 years old, going to be declining. I mean, we get more scoring off the bench if he even plays on the bench. So uh, no picks for us. Thank goodness. Rookie signing, obviously, no one going to be there. I don't believe in rookies, even though I... Drafted Siku Duyumbia, du Duyumbia, but I traded him for Michael Porter Jr. So, okay. Spencer Dinwiddie declined his player option. It's okay, though. I will be re-signing him in free agency if he wants to come back, though. <laughs> Hopefully, he does. Uh, everyone really accepts their player option. Nothing really too crazy there. All right, Moratorium. Who is here? Jason Tatum is here, but uh, obviously, we don't have enough money to really sign him. All right, affordable. Really, uh, it's we got to bring back Karis LeVert, Thad Young, and Spencer Dinwiddie. All right, so we get Spencer Dinwiddie and Karis LeVert back on the team, and Thad Young decides to sign with the team that we beat in the Western Conference Finals. You know what? It's okay, Thad. It's okay. You know what? You won your two championships. It's okay. Uh, take a look now at our backup power forward position. We do have Jordan Mickey, so it's not like we're going to be, be falling off completely. I mean, he he's a good rebounder, not the best defender, but if I could somehow improve at the power forward position, that would be lovely. I just don't think I really can, honestly. There's no one here that I really can improve with, in my opinion. So we're just going to go ahead and keep him. Uh, bird rights on nobody. So really, this is just all about signing guys to give us some more options. Uh, Avery Bradley, going to go ahead and bring him back. And you know what? Like I did in the first season, I'm just going to go ahead and just fill out the team. All right. And uh, I will uh, see you guys at the start of next season. Our starting lineup is once again the same as the past two seasons. All right, Malcolm Brogdon, Jimmy Butler, Michael Porter Jr., Montrez Harrell, and Anthony Davis. Off with a bench, Spencer Dinwiddie. I mean, really, come on, guys. No surprise there. Karis LeVert, 
Will Barton, Jordan Mickey, Avery Bradley, JJ Reddick, Boban, Carmelo. Yeah, Carmelo. You know what? Carmelo. I mean, might as well. I mean, he hasn't won a championship. I mean, might as well just have him ride the bench and then uh, Marcin Gortat. So let's go ahead now. Simulate to the end of the year. And let's win ourselves our third straight NBA championship. All right, James Harden wins the MVP award here at the end of the final season. 33 points, 6.3 rebounds, 7.7 assists, 1.6 steals, and pretty much 51% from the field. Romeo Langford, sixth man of the year on the Wizards. Giannis Antetokounmpo wins the Defensive Player of the Year award. Two blocks and one and a half steals. Cam Reddish, once again, was the most approved player. Pretty sure he won it last year, I think. And Jaden Brown, coach of the Hawks, wins coach of the year. Who do the Hawks even have? All right, anyway, uh, you won't see Anthony Davis on these lists because he actually got hurt for like six day weeks so he's not on any of these lists but we do have jimmy butler on the all defensive second team and that's pretty much it for the awards we finished third in the west however uh i'm just interested to see who the hell the hawks have trey young john collins Vucevic, Jarrett culver kevin herter gallo blaze Moore. i don't know how that team is so good all right anyway yeah third but you know what guys were hurt okay so you know what? It is what it is. Take a look at the rotation. Nothing's changing with that. Our starting five is absolutely beastly, and we really should be winning a championship this year, like without a doubt, in my opinion. Uh, first round, taking on the Utah Jazz, but first things first, you already know, we got to check out the player's stats. I mean, Anthony Davis, in how many games he played? Let's see. Let's see how many games he actually played. Uh, he played in, <clears throat> excuse me, wow, yikes, uh, 54 games and still put up those numbers, which is just incredible so jimmy butler had to you know pick up the scoring and when he was gone so did michael porter jr montrose harrell so a uh, good all-around season from these guys now let's see who the jazz have on their team uh bull bull and rudy gobert oh my god tobias harris that's pretty much it jordan clarkson has a broken leg so we we really should win this series there's no reason why we should lose this series but hopefully the 2k sim logic helps me out here and you know thank you okay cool we win in five taking on the oklahoma city thunder and the hawks lose in the first round of the magic wow i'm so surprised uh oklahoma city thunder played them last year in the playoffs i think not really too sure about that but i think we've played them at some point all right deandre willie collie stein kyle collinsworth who's an 82 overall uh hamadou diallo kelly Oubre jr rubio nothing too insane on this team jeff teague i, I mean they are crazy deep, all right? But I feel like our team is going to be a lot better in this series. And uh, yeah, it's really looking like we are going to beat them and sweep them, right? Sweep them? Sweep them? Yeah, okay, cool. Sweep them. Can I face the Rockets? Thank you, please. No, do not blow a 3-1 lead. Thank goodness. All right. We get our rematch. Well, the, the Rockets get the rematch against us, but they're not going to win because we are the better team. The Rockets did steal that young from us but you know what it's okay i i respect the move it is what it is chris paul malcolm delane delaney uh james harden they're they have a ton of shooting guards oh my god batum cassius stanley ronda Hellas jefferson they they don't even have that young anymore did, did okay i i'm i'm guessing that young just didn't sign with them okay that's weird anyway let's go on and beat the rockets for the second straight season and advance to our third straight NBA Finals, but it's not looking too hot. 2-2, two, two, game five. The winner of game five wins the series X amount of times. I don't really know that stat, and it's looking like we are going to win game five. Yes, we will end up winning by eight points. Anthony Davis, 24 and 13, four steals, two blocks, two assists. James Harden, 35 points, not enough. Game number six, the winner takes on the Cleveland Cavaliers in the nba finals that just sounds weird to say and we just storm back in the fourth quarter wow 32 to 15 in the fourth 31 to 20 in the third end up winning by 23 points 138 to 115 montrose Hill, 31 and 5 with two blocks anthony davis five blocks 15 rebounds 23 points malcolm brogdon 15 and 6 good yo Jim, jimmy baller good all around game for him james harden 35 but not enough now we're taking on the Cavs. Definitely did not think I would be taking on the Cavs whatsoever in this video, but uh, let's see what I got. Colin Sexton, Frank Jackson, Tyrese Maxey, Tyler Harrow, Hero, Tomato, Tomato, doesn't really matter. They got Bowie on as their starting three and Damian Dotson. They got Zion and Kevin Love and Tristan Thompson and Larry. I don't understand this team. I really do not understand this team. I don't know how they beat 
some of these teams. I mean, then again, I just, whatever. We should we should beat them w without a doubt and win a three-peat, all right? Like, we should. There's no doubt. Don't you dare. Don't you? Okay, cool. I was about to say, don't you dare tie up this series. And we do end up winning three straight NBA championships. Anthony Davis wins his third straight finals MVP. You love to see it, y'all. So that is going to be it for me, man. Let's go ahead and check out the final championship roster that pretty much won the three-peat. Like, I mean, this core stayed intact and, you know, won a three-peat. We got Anthony Davis, Jimmy Butler, Michael Porter Jr., Malcolm Brogdon, Montrez Harrell, Spencer Dinwiddie, Karis LeVert, Will Barton, Jordan Mickey, Avery Bradley, JJ Redick, Carmelo Anthony finally gets a championship. Uh, Boba Marjanovic and Marcin Gortai. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy it. Let me know, let me know down in the comment section what rebuilds you guys want to see from me if uh, Anthony Davis gets traded to the Lakers, which he very well could be because in the time that I've recorded this video, the Lakers just completely like up to their offer and they're offering Lonzo and Kuzma and Ingram and like pretty much like half their team so uh if he does end up getting traded i will make a video on that uh but other than that that's gonna be it for me thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys all next time